Greetings. Welcome back to an episode of We Are Again in front of a dungeon. It's one of two, three, actually. And let's go in there and finish the ruins of U. Uh, U. U. Something. There are ruins. There are something. We are going to finish them. Oh, yeah. Uh. Eridu. Okay. That's what it's called. Eridu. Now, what do we need to do? Slay all enemies in the rotting holes. Okay. Let's try it. I beg you. Mm hmm. And this dude's dead. Look at that. Anyway, the idea is to just rush through, uh, go to the exit as quick as possible, and hope that all of the enemies are getting teleported after me. That would be kind of interesting. Let's see if that is actually a thing. Or not. Let's just rush through. Do -do 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 -do. Will they make some kind of enemy horde? I just want to know if that works. That would be so sweet. And... Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing so far, nothing so far. Okay. They do tend to move, but I don't know if they actually get laid. Oh, I got a leaf of one. Oh, that's just great. Get a really nice try, and then this happened. Okay, nothing, 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 nothing. They're just running back now. That's good. Oh, okay. Nope. First, I thought this was a mistake. There wasn't anything in the old fort. We started to lose our men. We found them torn apart. Barely recognizable. Death was granted for a lucky few. The others rose as shaking the bodies led us to the demon infestation in the lower reaches. No wonder this fort was left to rot. It's sitting on cursed ground. I won't lose any more nights. Tomorrow, I'm ordering my regiment to destroy this vile building and hopefully see these demons inside. I pray they never escape. Hmm. Okay. Good for them. Well, is it good or bad for the demons? Uh, uh, now I have to go all the way back now. Do the thing that I should have done from the beginning. But right, so we got all of them. Yeah. again. Increase health enemies are the pain. Especially if they come up in the groups also. Okay. Now we got everything cleared out. It's time to go further in. So what about this stuff? Uh, that one is not necessary. Bam. Then uh, yeah, we don't need that. I need like uh, 600 and 5. That's actually the minimum. Uh, of item power. Okay, what about that one? Uh, yeah, all of them are slightly lower than the threshold. 605, that's what I need. Or maybe 610, if you really think about it. Uh, depending on the amount of uh, upgrades I can give them. Like legendary ones are with four upgrades. Think. There you go. Hmm. And per uh, upgrade, you get the bonus five on item power. That's just something to keep in mind. Oh yeah! Permanent overload. 
Awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, let's try that one. Ooh. There's another shrine. Let's see what that one is all about. The greed one. Every time you hit something, right, an object, uh, it releases a little bit of gold. That's actually quite cool. Hmm. So what you need to do then is uh, hit them an awful lot, right, with very, very little damage. And then you could maybe get more gold out than, than ever before. <laughs> okay, so what is this all about? Ah, right. So that's the way to go. There. That was close. I almost killed him. So three of these explosions are enough to make your day go south really quickly. So, more Banes of Eridu. Where are you? You're hiding from me? I don't like that. There's one. Trigger, 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 trigger. Perfect, 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 perfect. Ah. Let's just go through until we find ourselves a decent enough enemy to fight. There's nothing here. There we go. Ooh, actually, the walls count as targets, right? Uh, therefore... Me attacking them uh, can trigger special effects. Oh, okay. Special effects. That was close. Let's get out of here. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Grave dust. Let's get the resources. Ah. Okay, where's the one with the energy? There. There, okay, that's one. Need the other one with the energy. Where is it? There. Come on. There, we got one. Where's the other one with the energy? That could be it. Okay. Ah, oh, those bloody shamans. They make this quest really annoying. Okay, wait. Where's the one with the... Ah, oh, even more of those. Nah. And there it is. Yeah. Not intended. Come on, there's the there's the last one. Ah no, not in time. The real problem is figuring out which one of those is the one with the effect on. That's the tricky part. Because it's a to be honest, it's very difficult uh, to see this like greenish glow, this like yellowish greenish glow, if you have like this stuff. That's also somewhat greenish. Sometimes, at least. And then you have Hurricane, which has the same effect. Then you slow them down and make that. The, the, the aura itself should have some particles associated with them. That make it easier to see. And not just this, uh... Glow, or whatever it is. Alright, and there we have another one done. Time to open the door. What's inside here? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Didn't even look at the stats though. Uh, yeah, lucky hit's pretty decent, but no. Right now the items are good enough. That's the thing, like, just a little bit of a uh, higher item power. What does it mean if the item has just a little bit higher item power? If the thresholds are always the same. 
does it mean that in terms of like let's say this thing here has a damage to distant enemies for example uh, of uh, yeah 13 percent which is the max roll therefore the item power for this should be higher right so the higher item power would relate to the rolls the higher the rolls the higher the item power and then after certain threshold uh, is reached then of course they get the 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 roll that's like multiply it's even greater all right oh flame enemies nice 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 fighting this dude may become easier the more enemies there are come on let me trigger some stuff Okay, now that could work. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And we got it. Easy mode. Hmm. Yeah. Sacrificial aspect unlocked. Time to go to the next dungeon. If you don't try on like clearing the enemies a hundred percent, and these dungeons can be done so quickly, it's unbelievable. Oh wait, there's some stuff there. Right, let's just move on. New. Need more Galavine. Gala, gala, Galavine. Why don't I use my potions? The ones with the thorn bonus. They make things even easier. And they would also increase my experience game. Yeah. Like, actually, what you should do, right? Even if the. Yeah, you should always use a potion at all times. The best potion, if you. If you don't have the resources for like high up potions or so, it doesn't matter what potions you get. As long as you do use at least one potion, which increases your experience gain by 5%. You could even go for a spammy potion that has like very low uh, resources necessary for the craft, right? And then just use that all the time. That's actually a pretty good idea. Ah, let's just clear that one while we're at it. And then I actually have to look how much too many items I got in my inventory. I think I'm Yeah. I do become a piñata if that continues. Right. You. Yes! The Mega Brain. I love those. This kind of thing might be my favorite kind of... <laughs> uh, kind of seller in here. It's just amazing. Just because of the way they drop. They surround you with enemies and then, oh, you can use AoE. It's so nice. Oh, wait, there is some stuff. Righty, and before we go into the th Leviathan's Maw, we're gonna end this episode. Until next time, then, like and subscribe, and uh. Farewell. Ta ta.